early in high school. Uh, I, you know, I was running on the cross country team as a freshman and a sophomore while doing these other sports, but not cracking the varsity team. It was after I decided to let go of some of the other stuff and kind of narrow my focus that the running started to click. I had felt inspired, like this is something that I'm supposed to do. Towards the end of that freshman cross country season, there was a breakthrough at the conference race and I ran better than I had ever run before. And Jared Ward, a solid run for 13, him. 13, 34, Caldwell. great time. Holy cow. There's Jared Ward. Facility record, oh man. Jared, one of the class acts of all time. Just an absolutely great guy, stud runner. <laughs> you put a camera on him, he'll act. <laughs> yeah, let's go, buddy. The running had been uh, consistently improving in high school and, and was at the peak of my running form. But something that I had always wanted to do was to serve a mission. That was a priority. And so uh, we decided to put running on the back burner for a couple of years and, uh, and take that time to, to serve the Lord. On an LDS mission, you're assigned a, a companion that you uh, spend all of your time with. Training-wise, you're allotted a, a half an hour a day for exercise in the morning. But the kicker is, you gotta be with your companion. If your companion's not a runner, you're not running. <laughs> the pounds were coming on, and I realized that uh, there wasn't gonna be anything I could do in that half hour that was really gonna keep me where I was at. It's hard when you're in there by yourself, sitting in front of a mirror, looking at yourself, thinking, what am I doing? I might have put the stamp on running. What's next? Show your speed. How are we gonna show your speed? Where are you on a race? A couple months of training after being home, things started to feel a little bit better. I was losing some weight and, uh, and running better. The training had gone well enough that by the time the fall season rolled around across country, I was on the team. Really got me excited about the marathon as a future. Coach and I were looking forward and outlining um, schedule coming up, and they announced that the 2015 U.S. Championships for the marathon would be in L.A. in March. Jared Ward, the up-and-comer, also in this race. I was now racing for a U.S. Championship. The race getting underway, and Ryan Hall not looking hot. Jared Ward looking very strong out there. The feeling crossing the line was incredible. An outstanding run by Jared Ward. I you know, went down to my knees on the road. I can live for that feeling again. Top U.S. honors today. Huge breakthrough for this guy. It certainly was something special. You're kind of fresh out of school and having so much success. Uh, I just feel blessed. You know, there's, uh, there's been so many people that God has put in my life. You learn a lot of lessons running, life lessons of pushing through things that are hard for something that you want. Look for what you're seeking and just run with it.